pada mulanya saya diinform bertemu dengan pegawai khas. Tiba-tiba Datuk Seri Najib yang datang. Very unreal. <laughs> <laughs> because didn't expect it so very surprised as well. Mula-mula macam terkejut lah sebab tak ada siapa beritahu yang PM akan datang kan. Excited lah kan sebab dia willing to uh, come down and, and listen to us. Our forthcoming budget, yeah. Just we thought the idea is really for me to just engage very very um, casually, warmly with you guys. See if you have any thoughts and ideas as to what you know we should consider for the forthcoming budget incentives or programs or basically concerns the the millennial generation and so forth so anybody would like to kick off jadi antara cadangan saya berikan kepada dia pada Datuk Seri kalau boleh ditubuhkan uh, taska di dalam hospital semua staf tak kesihatan kebanyakannya bekerja on call dan juga ada shift uh, jadi mereka tidak ada, ada masalah untuk meletakkan anak di mana so if you can have day care centers that could be a way to you know, to, to solve it. Germany, for example, um, there's this dual vocational training program. So it reduced their yeah, yeah. learning time in school, yeah, yeah. but they spend more time on the job. Uh, they spend a good, you know, two years working in a company as part of their education. And employers will be more willing to hire them after they graduate. Um, and this is great because it actually reduces the amount of money the government needs to spend uh, to subsidize free education um, and at the same time increase its effectiveness. I agree with that. Yeah, for sure. The main thing about us is that we try to introduce less well-known places to people. So that means the vendors I have listed on our website is vendors who are from SME, you know, the very small size vendor. Then I hope that there's uh, more initiatives to help the tourism industry because I do see a big potential that we can be as good as even pilot. And uh, it's, a, it's a soft industry right now. It's not like education, it's not healthcare, but it can bring money in potentially. Cash. Yes. Cash. And you can bring jobs uh, to people. Actually, the tax was to be back uh, to promote Malaysia. Yeah. So, good point. Good, good, good. I should, I should be listening to you guys. <laughs> Enjoy my asam laksa. <laughs> good, good. Kalau kat subsail contohnya, hari ini masih ada rumah di Damansara dekat dengan IKEA yang kita boleh beli pada harga RM160,000, RM170,000 rumah tiga bilik ni subsail so kalau orang ada sedikit kesedaran untuk tahu macam nak tengok ataupun ada agensi yang boleh bantu mereka cari rumah di subsail ni then instead of beban tu semua RM100,000 hartanah kena dibina oleh kerajaan tiap tahun why don't buka RM30,000 daripada subsail dan RM70,000 tu rumah baru So these are what? <coughs> these are existing houses. Existing houses. Do a bit of investigation. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Appreciate yeah. it. Subsea. Good. Banyak yang kita try to push is about the digital economy lah, and how we can help uh, the small businesses and medium enterprise to make their business more successful. Uh, in terms of like how you're using technology, how you're using like digital economy. There's a lot of movement to like cashless payment, like where make it easy for people to accept. Uh, money without cash, I feel like using mobile or any other ways, right? And also we can talk about trends and coming in, uh, let's say cashless payment yang uh, start dah jadi becoming a trend dekat uh, Saudi Asia and, and how Malaysia should be ready uh, for this trend to come in. Kebanyakan budak-budak muda ni, dia ada banyak skill. Uh, ada yang boleh kita rambut, ada yang boleh repair kereta semua. So, apa kata kalau boleh bantu dia orang sebesikit uh, untuk buat bisnes mobile. Contohnya macam pizza boleh delivery punya motor. So, ada box tu untuk letak barang-barang dia orang. Dia orang boleh promote dan dia orang boleh buat. Lagi ni ini ini kita orang buat sendiri. Buat? Ya. I think this is a very good opportunity for me and also I can bring uh, suara mahasiswa kepada Perdana Menteri kita sendiri. Very personal, he's listening, he's asking people opinion and feedback about what uh, do people really want from the budget. We get to voice out some ideas on what uh, we 
uh, what we think you know the government can do for the private sector. He was uh, very willing to listen, uh, so that's a that's a good thing. Yeah,